Okay guys, in this video I am going to discuss about block share. Okay, so if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and also don't forget to press the bell icon so that in future you can be benefited. Okay, so at the very first, why you need to know about block share. Okay, you know that whenever you are connecting two steel member, okay, by using bolt, okay, this can be simply two plate which are being connected and carry the load tensile load that is being applied over this plate okay or it can be some uh, angle section which is being connected with a gusset plate again this angle section is being connected with the gusset plate by using bolts okay and here is the tensile load so what are the different type of failure mode definitely first this cross section can fail by yielding okay or by some rupture okay or you can say that this bolt can fail okay by shear action or you can say that the gusset plate fail by bearing action of the bolt so there are different type of failure mode whenever you are designing any type of steel connection okay so in addition of all this failure mode that means yielding of this plate or rupture of the plate or the failure of the bolt or you can say that failure of the gusset plate by bearing action there is another mode of failure which is known as block shear okay so whenever any connection fail under block shear it looks something like this here you can see that no bolt is failed or gusset plate is failed simply the whole connection has been teared apart okay so initially this was some member which was connected with this gusset plate okay uh, by using this bolt and due to the blocks here here you can see that the overall member which was connected with the gusset plate has been teared apart from the gusset plate okay so this type of block shear must be included in your design aspect whenever you are going to design any steel connection okay so now let's understand about the block shear and what are the different type of force that you need to consider whenever you are considering this block shearing effect right so at the very first i will discuss about block shear and how it act so if you have any type of material that is under the action of tensile force okay how this material can fail simply this material can fail like this if this is a wood in that case the failure will be something like this or if this is some metal in that case the failure will be like this okay and also if any material is under the action of shear force okay so this is the material and we have applied the shear force that means some magnitude of force but they are acting in opposite direction like this so in that case this material can fail here and they will be put apart due to this application of shear force and this is known as your shear failure right now we will use this simple concept that is the failure under tension and failure under shear action okay to understand the block shear effect okay so simply consider this this is the plate okay which has been connected with this gusset plate right and for connection we have used two number of bolt okay so both are same connection this is the tensile load p okay so first just like this one we will use this tensile load effect on this plate so if for this case we use the tensile load effect what will happen this section is under the action of tension okay and you know that under tension it may fell like this okay so here also due to this tensile force there is some opposite reaction like this and this plane actually 
may fail like this this is simply a probability okay second case if we have a material under the action of shear force in that case this material can be put apart by this failure play okay again apply this concept into this second case okay so this is force p and here is another reaction force p okay but if there is a little bit eccentricity that is let's say this is p and this is reaction p so due to this very small eccentricity let's say delta which is almost equivalent to the diameter of this bolt okay so what will happen this plane is actually under the action of the shear force that is p at the top and this reaction force p or r whatever you can call under the bottom of the bolt okay so in that case what will happen this plane is subjected to shear action and it is susceptible to failure okay so here you have seen that this plane is under the action of pure tensile action and it may fail just like this okay and here this is under the action of pure shear so here it may fail like this okay clear so initially this was under the action of tensile force now this is under the action of shear force okay so now if you combine these two action simultaneously okay both this tensile action as well as this shear action that combined action on this connection is known as block shear okay so in case of a block shear what will happen here you can see okay let me it is great now it is clear so here you can see that we have applied this tensile force okay and due to this tensile force this particular plane is under the action of tension okay but this plane is under the action of shear okay we have simply combined these two failure in a single picture and this is known as block shear now i think you have got the concept of block shear and what are the check you need and what are the check you need to consider for designing any connection against the block shear failure okay so let's recap the same thing for another example okay so here you can see that instead of using two bolt we have used six number of bolt okay so initially this part of this plate was here okay and once you have applied this tensile force p what has happened this is the pure tensile area okay so here this is the tensile area and this is the tensile area and due to this tensile force they has been put apart okay and this was shear area this was shear area this was shear area and this was also shear area okay so previously we had a single shear plane okay because the number of bolt was only two but here due to two row of bolt we have dual shear plane okay so here is another example of block shear failure and due to this block shear failure the actual real life picture will be something like this one okay so here you can see we have used two row of bolt and due to the block shear failure it has been put apart from this gusset plate so this failure is due to yes tensile force and this failure and this failure is due to shear force okay so that's it if you like this video don't forget to share it